Hello everyone, it's Ron here from Ron's YouTube channel. We cover a lot of drones, drone gear, drone tech, and drone updates. And today is a drone update video uh, for the DJI Air 3. Um, the Air 3 and the Mini 4 Pro both got substantial firmware updates on um, December 21st, 2023. And uh, I'm out here, you know, I'm only doing one at a time here. I'm doing the, um, the Air 3 first. I'll get to the Mini 4 Pro. Uh, later, we got a good day out here. It's cold, but uh, you know the the winds uh, pretty calm here, and uh, we're going to try to run through some of the features. But um, and I'm going to put the firmware numbers down below for for what this uh, what what this you know actually firmware number is we're talking about today. And it added you know like four or five main things. But I'm mostly going to uh, try to work on um, the uh, active track. Uh, it got the um, the, the tracking 360, but also uh, what I want to show is uh, this auto tracking now, where you can uh, have a track you. It doesn't have to be you, but I think it has to be like a person, not like an object or a car or something like that. And it will uh, it will perform a series of um, you know act track modes as you're walking along. So I'm going to walk down you know to the coastline here to the beach or whatever and walk along and see what kind of maneuvers it does as I'm moving along here and sorry folks I know you see this mic lapel mic on here but I'm going to actually use that to do the screen recording on the drone so right now I'm just talking to you on the uh, action for is built in internal mic so if anybody says well the mic doesn't sound good this mic's not on yet it'll be on when I actually do the screen recording uh, as we're flying the drone at the beach here. So um, we're, I'm going to uh, pick this up here for a second and just, you know, show you some of the stuff we got going on here. Okay, here we have the Action 4 right here. We're using the DJRC2. I got the DJI uh, wireless mic 1 on there. And uh, we got our, you know, our Start RC landing pad right out here on the edge of the beach, uh, right on between the dunes. And we call it a bulkhead down here at the Jersey Shore. So, uh, with no further ado, let's uh, you know let's take this bird off here. All right, folks. Uh, here in the next segment of the video, we're ready to take off. Here we have 23 satellites. Uh, we're in Class G airspace. No temp temporary flight restrictions of any kind, so we're good to go. Nobody around at all. So, um, here we go. We're going to hit the automatic takeoff on the uh, the window here. Um, and so, let's try. Okay, we got a new kind of a, see that thing, the new fl flight safety tips? Um, that hasn't been there before, that's new. So normal mode recommended, we are in normal mode. So let's, let's go. We're gonna hold this down until the drone slowly takes off and you can see yours truly there. Let me move the gimbal down. Okay, so there we go. We got a kind of a good hover here. Yeah, I'm giving you the old wave here. You know, you can see if, if I got a motion blur or not here. I got a. Uh, NDA filter on here, uh, just you know, just for giggles here. I'm not really worried about smooth motion blur in this video, but uh, we're going to try to control the exposure. We're, we're on an e EV at negative three, and everything else we're on Doctor Auto here. So let's um, let's go straight up a bit here, so it kind of can get its home point here. So you're looking um, away from the beach now. This is you know looking inland. Okay, so we're up about 50 feet. So. Hopefully it's got a home point here. So let's correct our rule of thirds here. And let's uh, spin the drone all the way around here. We'll get towards, looking towards the, uh, oh, I even have the exposure warnings on so you can see where we got high exposure. That's sighting sun over there, so that's always going to be high exposure. So um, here we're looking at the beach here. Now let's, let's fly out over the beach a little bit here. Oops. And up about a hundred feet here, so okay, we're uh, there. We go. Okay, we're going to look back, and I'm going to walk out towards the beach here. And uh, let's see here. There, there I am. So okay, we'll walk over the dune here, and we'll cut some of this part out here. If it's too boring here, me just kind of walking into the shot here. And you know, let's let's go up to the three X camera here. Can we go to three X without turning the the uh, Recording off? I guess we have to turn the recording off. Okay, we'll turn, we'll go to 3X and then turn the recording back on again. And of course, we're so zoomed in. There I am. Keep me in center of shot here. I'm, you know, uh, what do you call it? Uh, manly keep myself in the, uh, the center of shot here. Yeah, this is me doing all this, not the drone. Okay. 
that three X, you know, it certainly helped this shot here. Okay, so I'm out here, you know, to the beach now, and the drone is kind of right above us, right above, right in front of us here. Do kind of a top, top down Tuesday here, or whatever they call it. Okay, so let me uh, back this drone up a little bit. Okay, let's see, uh, let's see if we can get this tracking feature going here. So I'm going to turn the uh, turn it off for a second here. Maybe go back to my one X. Uh, the drone is way too high here. Let's bring it down. Okay, remember this thing ascends fast. So we got about forty feet. Okay, so let's go. Um, let's draw a box around myself. Okay, now we have that, you know, um, I want to get that screen recording thing out of the way there. Okay, we got active shots. We're good to the one on the left, active shots. Unable to switch objects, functions. So, okay, I got to get that thing all the way out of the way. Function supports following subjects as people and vehicles. Okay, see, it doesn't recognize me yet as a person. Let's try it again. Okay, I want to get that out of there. Okay, here, auto. Okay, so here we go, auto. It had manual and parallel in there, too. Now I hit go, and I hit recording. Okay, so now let's see. It's supposed to do, uh, you know, kind of random things as I'm walking through the, um, you know, as I'm walking around. So let's see what it does here. Okay, it's staying in front of me right now. I would have brought a B-roll camera along to show this, but I didn't want my hands to be overburdened here. Okay, so I had to do too much control. So now it's doing a little circling around me here. So I'm going to walk away from the setting sun. All righty. So let's see what it's doing now. Okay, it's behind me. And it's, uh, let's see. It's at a height of about six feet. Six, six, two, there it is. It's right, it's right behind me. And now it's going to the ocean side of me here. Uh, now it's whirling around me, and it, this is doing it all on its own. I haven't put any special modes in before. You would have had to sign modes, and then you would have had to switch them here. I hope you can hear me. We're getting down the ocean. It's a little bit of a roar today. So, okay, now it's going to do a helix, a low helix. <laughs> so they tell me they can do this with a 3X camera, too, so we'll try that in a bit here. And now it's real low. It's like four feet off the ground on the helix, and I'm hugging with the old Hollywood, you know, the old YouTube wave. Wow, this is, uh, this is something else. Look at, um, next time maybe I'll get the B-roll count to show you. So look at that, like, nice sunset behind me. It's capturing all that. Still showing the home point where it took off, so it knows its home point. So, yeah, this is terrific here. Now we're walking out to the old fishing pier here. I don't know what uh, what it'll do about the pier if it's still be doing it. Now it's doing a hold. Yeah, at the top of the screen, you can see that. I got the screen recording. It shows you, you know, what mode it's on. So it's still, it's still going to, what's called a hold shot here at about six feet high. So now it's gonna do a helix again. Ah, this is nice. Ah, if you want some cinematic shots, this is the way to go. Yes, indeed. Now it's going to hold again. So I don't know what it decides, what, what its mode is going to do, but it's, it's just doing a good hold now. And I'm going to put my gloves on here. It's doing the helix again. I'm just going to stand here a little bit as I'm getting gloves on. Maybe not. There it is. There's that little drone, as Marcus Crawford would, would say, of course. The air, the air is not that little anymore. The air... Uh, the first couple of arrows were a little, but uh, the Air 3, uh, you know, it's not, your, it's not your father's Air drone anymore. It's, uh, it's growing up. Doing the Helix again. It loves to do the Helix. I wonder how you could get it to do you know, different modes because it keeps doing the Helix, which is a great shot. No, don't get me wrong, but check out my battery life here. We got 72% battery, so that's good. So you don't want to... Well, I guess if it ran out of battery, it would just land. Yeah, it keeps going out helix. It's cool because it does the helix like real low. So I'll put the controller down. I can kind of walk naturally now. Just, you know, kind of pretend that uh, I don't have a controller hanging from me. So you can just look like you're a 
kind of actor in a movie or whatever, you know, I, I won't even look at the drone anymore. I'll just look like a natural. I'll point like, oh, look out there. I see, uh, I see the sharks. Actually, there's some surfers out there. Yeah, so you can just act that act natural, like there's no drone. It'd be a beautiful sunset behind me here. Um, you know, there's no drone flying, right? So, yeah, I'm just going to start ignoring it, walk along and, like, pretend like I don't have a controller hanging off my, uh, you know, neck here. Now, you know, you could have, uh, you could track somebody else if you're making, like, a, vi you know, like a real video rather than just, a, you know, a YouTube drone, e drone review. You could track somebody and, and, of course, they wouldn't have the controller hanging off of them, you know, uh, so they would look very natural. Okay, here it is again. Uh oh, some birds just... Birds are just flying by it, but the birds are kind of avoiding it. I hope they're avoiding it anyways. Look at them flying that pattern there. Look, look that way, drone. Oh, now he's moving again. Hey, hey, drone, what you doing? He's flying over the water. Okay, so what's, um, he's holding most, so let's actually stop this. Okay. An active shot. It's okay, we could do a, a parallel shot here. You know, manual, what's through the parallel? We'll go. And we're still recording. It's okay. It's doing its, I think it's doing its parallel mode. So this is what it calls a parallel. Which is sort of not really a parallel to me. I wonder if I have to adjust the parallel. Yeah, I still have, I still, okay. I still got control over it. You know, I want, I want to parallel the other way. Okay, there we go. That's how I want my parallel. So we'll hold that. Okay, it's going to hold that. Okay, so you move it in the parallel location you want to, and then you hold that. That's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, you set your, you know, you set your own manual parallel. Look, I even have myself sort of off frame here and everything. That's really cool. Got some good shots of the waves. Okay, we're checking our battery again. We're still sixty-four percent battery life. So yeah, that's a, that's really cool. Okay, let's uh, let's stop that for a second. You know, I'm going to get some gloves on here. It's getting a little cold here. So I'm going to take a quick uh, recess here to advertise the PGY Tech, uh, you know, uh, photographer's gloves. Also great for droning. And uh, it's really not that bad out, but, you know, it is the, it is the uh, first day of winter here officially. So we, we want to glove up here because we don't want our hands dried out, which they will. Okay, well, at least I got one glove on here. So let's stop this recording here. And let's, uh, let's take the drone up a little bit. And there you go. You got a nice shot there. The waves rolling in here. Of course, I'm not filming now. The waves rolling in. Let's uh, set the camera back up again here. You know, I, and there's a why I, I got to get that thing off there. Okay. Let's roll the camera back up again. Let's look towards that sunset. There you go. Oh man, some clouds rolled in at the end there. Okay, let's move this down here. Let's get some video of that here. Let's go a little bit higher here. A little bit over 100 there. And I've got a fast gimbal tilt there. So let's, uh, let's get more of the ocean in there, right? Let's kind of put up that, that those towers on like a uh, four thirds line there. And I'm going to switch over to um, take a snap a nice photo here. Because guess what? Now we have a, a photo zoom. So, okay, watch this. Okay, I'm in, uh, I'm in photos now. Watch. Look at that. I can zoom into photos. Look, look how a tight shot worked. Now, I, I did hear a thing. This only works in... Um, 12 megapixels. If you switch it over to 64 megapixels, you will not be able to zoom. So, okay, let's, let's go this shot right there. 
I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, well, you know, just uh, you don't need to uh, just crop it and post on the photo. But, you know, sometimes you like to frame something, you know, in, in, the, in the moment or whatever. You don't want to, like, uh, you know, you don't think about the crop at, at home. So that's one of the reasons. Okay, let's actually go to the 3X camera and look at that. Okay. So we're really tight there. So let's go like this. Okay. Now here we do two. We can get even tighter now. Oops. Oh, we can go. Look, I hit that once. I tapped it once. It went to 6X. Let's see if I tap it again. There's people walking around here. I'm going to move this drone over this way a little bit here. Okay, there we're at 9x. Wow. Okay, now we're down to 3x. So we can't go less. We can, eat, we can only go more than 3x. So that's a dramatic shot at 3x. And that's almost a shot we had at, um, you know, when we were on the 1x zoomed. But this is the optical zoom now, not a, not a digital one at this point. Okay, so we're going to take the photo. But now, if we hit the, if we hit tap it and go to the six x, now we're now we're at a, um, you know, now we're at a digital zoom. And we've now we can't even see the building anymore. We're so zoomed in. But look, look at that shot there. Look, look, look at that. That makes for, a, you know, what do you call it, like that uh, uh, compression effect there. So let's take a shot there. You know what? We, we need more dynamic range on this. So let's go to auto exposure weight bracket. And let's go, let's go to the five. Let's get a lot of dynamic range on this shot because the, the ground is definitely not, uh, you know, it's definitely not enough light in the ground there. So, okay, let's take another photo or series of photos this time. So here, I'm going to get out of that and we're going to go back to the video here for a second. And uh, I'm going to um, go back to the, well, actually what we're going to do is we're going to go to the 3X lens, okay? 3X, come on, 3X. Okay, we're going to go back to the tracking of, of me here. But um, we're going to go walk towards the side this time. And we're going to try with 3X rather than uh, before where, where we were at uh, 1X. So I just have to get me in the shot here because I'm too zoomed in. There we go. There I am. Okay, so we're at the 3X here. And we're going to draw the box again. Big box this time. And then we're going to go to the active track. And we're going to go to the auto, on, and then hit record. You always got to hit record if you want anything more than screen recording, if you're even doing a screen recording. So let's walk this way and see what it does. Okay, it's holding right now. Okay, it's doing a helix around me now. There it comes. There we go. Okay, so I've got some people coming here, so I'm going to stop the drone right now, and we're going to go up. You know, the new uh, auto active shots here, and it's going to follow me here as down the beach here and see. I want a 3X now is a big difference. Before we were, now it's doing a circle. You know, and when I was doing it before, it was mostly doing helixes. So that's a little different. We're seeing a circle now. I wonder if that has anything to do with using a different lens. I'm kind of watching the screen here to see what it does. Um, yeah, so that's really cool. Look at this tight shot. You know, me in the water. Sometimes you want all the dramatic scenery, but this is a nice shot too. Kind of a low light here, so you see how this drone does in a low light here. Now, probably not the best to have that ND filter on here now, but uh, you know, we'll deal with it here. Because the 3X, of course, isn't as bright as the wide angle lens, but uh, this, this is terrific here. And the ability to, to zoom in the photos, uh, you know, I, I'm going to test all the individual features out in this drone eventually, but, you know, I'm just trying to hit some of the highlights here. Now, I'd like it to move behind me rather than in front of me this whole way to get some of the um, other shots. It's a shame you can't tell it to, um, you know, do a heel. Now, okay, now I want the heel because I want it to go all the way around me. Put my hat down a little tighter here. Now it's not, I wish it, I, you know, the sun sets that way. I want it to, I want it to get behind me. So I wonder if I can move it. And here, okay, it's doing it. Do the helix all, it's doing a half helix. I want it to do like a full helix. Yeah. Okay, I wonder if I can take command here. Yeah, I can't. 
this is totally mangled. It won't, and it's just not smart enough to figure out that uh, I want to see the sunset, not the uh, not the opposite direction. It's still trying to do a hill. Can I control the uh, y'all? No, I can't even control the gimbal. Now it's still in the hold. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can switch. I want maybe I need the more dramatic one X. But stop recording. I think. Okay, stop recording. Hit the one X. And you know what? It's not gonna let me change lenses while I have this going. Let's stop it. Okay, now we're gonna try to switch to one X. Oh, you can look at that zooming in and out with that. Now it zoomed in even tighter. Wow. Where is the darn thing? Over here. Yeah, it zoomed in real tight. So let's go back to active shots. Unavailable current zoom ratio. Okay, it won't it won't work in that zoom ratio of four point two. That's interesting. So let's let's get rid of me. Let's okay, get it back to one. Draw draw the box again. Active shots. Auto. Go. Record. See how it does this time. Now maybe you can get, see, get more of the sunset here rather than... There you go. You can see more of the sky this time. Yeah, so this is a... You know, you got some tight shots, but now you want that wide shot here. Now it's on hold right now. I wish it would start moving and show you... Oh yeah, see the overexposure warnings? There's the sunset coming up. Look at that. Now that's, now that's an epic shot, right? There we go. That's the epic shot I was looking for. I can hear it right beside me now. Hey. So this this is awesome if you're a solo content creator and you're trying to get cinematic footage to view. And again, you know, like uh, you could actually, uh, you know, you, you know, I don't know how you could, you know, do this without, you know, with a controller on you. That's the only problem with these things. You know, you always got the, if you can hide the controller somehow under the coat. You can have it do this. Now, if you had a, had another person with you, that person could, you know, you could just walk along. You know, like if actually, if you weren't the subject, if you had a model, you know, we'll say, and uh, they were the ones walking along. Hey, now this is this this auto feature is outstanding. You know, uh, that just goes along the tracks. You know, like you know, you could always manually do a helix or circle, but it would just do that one routine, and you would have to stop and reset everything and go over again. So this is kind of like what's that feature? Master shots. This is kind of like a master shots for uh, for people who want to do track themselves or track somebody. You know, where they don't have to always, you know, put the setting in. So let's see here. It's um. It's 4.30, and this is the like, kind of the shortest day of the year. You know, I never know if the 20th is the shortest day of the year or the 21st, but um, yeah, either way, our, either the shortest day or the second shortest day. So we're about out of light here. And where is that little drone? Oh, here he is. He's, he's circling around me here. Okay, we have, we're, we have much battery. Well, we have 26% battery light, so we better walk back to our um, thing. So let me, uh, let me stop it, and let me move it around here and put it in parallel mode to have it track me back. Okay, here we go. We can set the gimbal up here. Okay, I'm going to do parallel. Active track, parallel, go. And we're already recording. Here comes the truck down the beach. So now we're going once the truck passes by, we're going to start walking up. Okay, here we go. And remember, I'm not in sport mode, so I should still have full active track on. Of course, there's nothing really to hit in the beach here. I mean, when it was low, I guess it could have hit somebody, you know, of course. I mean, there's a few people came around one point and I raised the drone up, but otherwise, kind of a solo content creator today. So, yeah, I'm just having it parallel follow me back. Hopefully, you're getting some of that sunset there. You are, you are, you, are, you know. Um, this is wonderful. This is one of the best features I've ever seen a DJI uh, firmware upgrade. Uh, I'm just saying that just to make the video uh, sound good. But no, this is impressive, no doubt. Um, I would highly recommend updating your drone today to add this feature. If you have any interest at all in tracking, or if you have any interest at all in um, zooming in photos, rather than just cropping in in the um, you know, post when you're doing your editing. 
And of course I did, I put the caveat in there that you will not be able to do this with a, um, oh, I got to cancel this return home. We're almost back. Um, you got to, you can't do 48 megapixels or, is it 4864? Anyhow, the, the pixel bending thing, you got I think it is 48. You got to go with the regular 16. Okay, so it's it's kind of low here. Let's see if it avoids the uh, the dunes here. It's near some seagrass here, but I, it's got it. It hovered over it. Yeah, it, it, I think. See, it's kind of dark now, so I don't know how its optical avoidance is doing, but um, it, it's doing good. And I know it's going to want to force land here in a second, but we're almost back to the landing pad. All right, we're going to stop stop the active track, and uh, we're going to hit the excellent meme. We're going to just land this thing real fast here. Okay, folks, we got the, we threw another battery. This is not a full battery, but we're going to do a few more things here, and then we're going to end this video here. Okay, we're above the dunes now, and one of the things that uh, they say, this now has the uh, fe the feature that the Mavic 3 got, Mavic 3 series drones got this summer, was the ability to use uh, the obstacle avoidance cameras, the 360 obstacle avoid cameras, which are on four, all four sides of the drone to see behind you. So what you got to go over here to the um, left and tap what looks like the radar thing there. And I haven't done this before, so bear with me. It's Okay. There it is. Okay, now you can see, but now you can move by these arrows. You can move around and see what's behind you. So you see the. How, let's see, I'm gonna get lower here because there's nothing up there. Okay, so you see that that's the house I'm kind of standing in front of here. Let me get this darn timer out of the way. So then, oh, what's what's like a big screen here? Okay, so. Um, And uh, you can move it by moving this, these arrows here. There you go. Okay, now it's locked. So this is this is a lot more useful if you're near if you're near something. I'm sitting up there just in space. Okay, there you can see like right over the propeller. Uh, I guess that's the 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 back propeller. Let's go to the other way. Um, okay, there's the, there's uh, another propeller. Let me spin the drone around and see. Of course, it's too dark now. Okay, there, there's exactly where I'm standing here between these two houses, and the drone is sideways to me. So this is seeing, uh, this is the camera that's on the rear left of the drone. So uh, pretty cool feature here if you're flying in tight spaces. Of course, this isn't a very good example when I'm in the wide open here. So, okay, we're going to end that right now.